Hello everybody, the day has arrived. The exhaust pipes are here. Um, when I say they're here, what I did is I bought, um, I don't know if you can see hanging up there, I bought a stainless exhaust off of eBay, um, mainly for this section because it was all, I couldn't use the original because it was chrome so we bought that section of the exhaust cut the headers off had this pipe if you can see there bought some stainless steel And there's the other one there for the other side. I did got them bent up. A friend of mine teaches um, some naval guys for the dockyard. And there's an old chap there who can um, pretty much bend anything he reckons. But he's retiring soon, so the idea was to get this done before he retires, so all he's done is he's um, sealed the pipe off, filled the whole thing with sand, he's bent those two bends on the bender, but this bend here, he's heated it up and bent it freehand, believe it or not. Now, I'm a metalsmith, and uh, we do we do get taught by pipe bending, but, um, you know, nothing on this sort of scale. We just touch on it, really. But uh, that's awesome. Now the idea is to I'll just get that to is to line the pipe up, cut cut this off, cut and cut that bit off where we want it, and then it's gonna it's gonna tuck up. It's gonna be in that sort of position, running behind the cylinder head, under the carburetors, around the back of the monoshock, up to the back. And we'll trim that end off um, and line up the tailpipes. Trim that off. That's why we got the step down. I'll show it all the adapter that comes with the tailpipe, so you can cut it off to match. I think it's 28 mil up to 54 mil. So you trim it off to match your pipe. This is 35 mil, and um, get it all tacked together. And get this got this spring attachment so you can take the tailpipes off. You've got to weld the little catches on, put, put the springs on. And I think that when the bike's running, it expands, and that what makes that's what makes the seal. But um, so the job today is to trim a bit more off this header and trim the pipe down. Get it all lined up so she runs in behind here under the carbs up and under here and figure out how we're going to make the bracket that's going to attach under here because you need a rubber. It's going to be fixed solid at that end. Camera's going funny. We need a rubber attachment this end to take the vibration out otherwise it will just snap. Okay, I'll give you another update in a sec. 